Okay, we're going to be talking today about converting exponents into radicals. Let's talk about the most basic one, the square root. I'm going to throw an x here, and I'm going to square root it. Uh, previously, I've talked about invisible math, things that mathematicians just assume that you know, but that are not written. When we're talking about a square root, uh, that there's a 2 assumed to be here. Remember, if an exponent is not shown, it is a 1. So the square root of x is actually x to the 1 half power. And you'll see that this 2 gets booted to the 1 over, uh, booted underneath the 1 in that exponent. So let's talk about how we can convert these. We see that this 5, I like to think of this guy as like a little boot, and it's going to kick it to the front. So we say fifth root of b, and all of that is going to be squared. You can look like that, or you can put it attach it to the b. Uh, let's talk about our, sec our second one that we have down here. We take that 2 and we boot it to the front, so it's going to be the square root of 7p to the fifth power. Now, when we're talking square root, we don't put a 2 there. I just did that so you can identify that that 2 went to the front, but it's typically, typically not standard that we put that 2 there, so scratch that out so you can see, but um, that would be how you would convert these guys from exponents into radicals. Excellent job. We'll see you next time.